Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with another game in my Philly season, my 2020 imagined Phillies season. We are still bad. We come into this game with a record of 28 and 52, and we're taking on the Arizona Diamondbacks, who are 37 and 43. For our Phillies, this is the last game of the first half of the season. And then we will go from there, but the first half has been a nightmare. We are at home. The pitching matchup today will be Merrill Kelly of the Diamondbacks against our man, Zach Wheeler. And uh, with all of that out of the way, I will get on with the game. I will go over the lineups as usual when they come up. Zach Wheeler is out there right now on the mound. The lineup for the visiting Diamondbacks will be Nick Ahmed leading off and playing shortstop. Christian Walker will be at first base batting second. Cole Calhoun bats third and he's the right fielder. David Peralta will be in left field batting in the cleanup spot. Cattell Marte will play second base and bat fifth. Batting sixth is Tim LaCastro in center field. Batting seventh will be Carson Kelly, the catcher. Batting eighth is uh, uh, Escobar, the third baseman. And Paven Smith will be the DH and bat ninth. And so with all of that out of the way, we are ready to go. We're ready to go. And that is a 3-7 for Ahmed against a righty. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Um, so yeah, he goes, uh, six to three. Christian Walker is up. He gets a four, six. That's going to be a fly ball to, uh, center field, fly to center field. So F eight and Cole Calhoun is the batter. He gets a 2-4. That's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher right back to Zach Wheeler, who throws him out 1-3. No runs for the Diamondbacks. And we go to the bottom of the first, and we will put um, Merrill Kelly out there now. So he's out on the mound, and the lineup he's going to face is Roman the Amazing Quinn leading off and playing right field. Adam Hazley will bat second and play center field. Didi Gregorius is going to bat third and play shortstop. Andrew McCutcheon is going to bat in the cleanup spot and play left. Jay Bruce will bat fifth and be the DH. Phil Goslin is at second, batting sixth. Andrew Knapp is going to do the catching today, giving um, a day off to uh, the real Muto. Alec Baum is going to be the third baseman batting eighth, and Reese Hoskins will bat ninth and play first base. Um, you will notice that Harper is not in this lineup, and that is because he is injured for nine games. So Roman Quinn is up. He gets a 3-6, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Kelly with a K. Adam Hazley is up. He gets a 5-9 batting left. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. X in the shortstop for them is a 1-E-20. And that is a 3. So we'll check it out. But uh, that is a ground ball. So he goes out 6-3. And Gregorius is the batter. And he gets a 4-6, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Kelly strikes out two guys that inning. No runs come across. And we are going to the top of the second in a scoreless game. And I will have to remember to keep changing the pitcher. We'll put Wheeler back out there, and Peralta is the batter. He gets a 2-10. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. So he goes 6-3. Cattell Marte is the batter. And he gets a 6-11, and he would be batting left. And that's going to be a 
fly ball to left field. Which brings up Tim LaCostro. Now, of course, you know, um, Arizona comes into this game not very good either. So we, I think we got a chance here. And that's going to be a single for LaCostro. So he is aboard Tim LaCostro with a single. That is the first hit of the game. And Wheeler gives it up. And that brings up Carson Kelly, their catcher. He gets a 2-9, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. So Arizona gets a man aboard um, in the second, but that man does not come around to score. And we're going to the bottom of the second. Kelly back out to the mound. D.D. Gregorius is the batter. Or no, McCutcheon is. Yes, Andrew McCutcheon is. And uh, he gets a 4-10, and that is going to be a fly ball to right field. Jay Bruce is the batter. Jay Bruce leading our team in home runs. He gets a 2-7, and that will be a strikeout. That's the third strikeout for Kelly against no hits and no men allowed on base. Phil Goslin is the batter. He gets a 6-4, batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman for their team is a 3-E28. That is a 19. 19 and 3, I'm going to guess that's an out. And it is. He goes out 5-3. And we get no runs there. And we are headed to the top of the third inning. Where Eduardo Escobar, the switch hitting uh, third baseman, is up. He gets a 3-7. And that is going to be a single. So Escobar gets aboard. That's the second hit allowed by Wheeler, but he hasn't allowed any runs yet. Paven Smith is the batter. He gets a 5-6 batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. That's the first strikeout for Wheeler. There's one down with a man on here in the third inning for the Diamondbacks with Nick Ahmed at the top of the order coming up. 5-7 batting right. That is going to be a single to Belastric. And so, Nick Ahmed gets a single. And that is the third hit allowed by Wheeler. I'm going to play the infield back. I think lately we've been pretty good offensively, so I think we can get a run. We just don't want to, you know, make it worse. 2-7 is a fly ball center field B for Christian Walker, and he does knock in the run. And, um, yeah. So that is a run and an earned run. And now there are two down. And, um, yes, two down and Calhoun up. And he gets a 6-3 batting left. And that is going to be a... Yeah, batting left, that is a single. That is an infield, or that, that's a ballpark single. Which moves Ahmed over to second. Now they've got two men on with two out, and David Peralta, the batter, and he gets a 2-8, which is a strikeout. Second strikeout for Wheeler. We're going to put Kelly back out there, and we got to go get the one run for the Diamondbacks to show that they are ahead by the score of one nothing, And Phil Goslin will be the batter that faces Merrill Kelly to lead off here in the bottom of the third inning. He gets a 3-7, and that's going to be a single. So that's our first hit right there off of Merrill Kelly. Or wait a minute, no, nope, no. Nope. Hold on. That's going to be a walk. There's a man on, but it's Knapp. It's not, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't Goslin, but he did lead off with a walk 
So Kelly, that's the first man he's allowed on base. And Alec Baum is the batter. He gets a 4-9 batting right. And that is going to be a home run for Alec Baum. So all of a sudden, Kelly just falls apart here. Gives up his first hit and his first two runs on a home run. And that brings up Hoskins. And Hoskins gets a 3 8, which is a strikeout. Fourth strikeout for Merrill Kelly. And Roman the Amazing Quinn gets a 2 8, which is a single. So, yeah, all of a sudden. Just all of a sudden, the floodgates are opening, and Kelly is is uh, falling apart here. Adam Hazley is the batter. He gets a 5-6 batting left. That's going to be a ground ball, first base, double play. So let's see. That would be a 3. We're going to call it a 3-6-1 double play. And uh, no runs come in. Or, yes, actually, Two runs do come in. So Arizona in the third, they got a run, and we got two. Or Yes. And so we're going to the top of the fourth. Going to send Wheeler back out there. Got to get our runs. And we're ahead two to one with Cattell Marte as the batter here in the fourth inning. And he gets a 3-8, and that's going to be a fly ball to left. That brings up LaCastro. He got a single his first time up. He gets a 4-10 batting right. That's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 2-E-20. That is an 18. That's going to be an out, 6-3. And Carson Kelly, the catcher, is up with two down. And he gets a 1-9, and that is going to be a single. Another hit given up by Wheeler. That's his fourth allowed. And Escobar is the batter, and he gets a 5-6, and he would be batting left, and that is a strikeout. Wheeler striking out his third guy and no runs for the Diamondbacks. And we will put uh, Merrill Kelly still is pitching. He gave up two runs, but I mean, hey, the score is still close. Two to one. And Didi Gregorius is the batter. And he gets a 112. And that is going to be a foul out to third base. That brings up Andrew McCutcheon. And he gets a 2-6, which is going to be a fly ball to right field. That's the second time he's flown out to right, 0 for 2. And Jay Bruce, the batter, gets a 5-10, batting left. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for them is a 1-E-20. That is an 11 Got to guess if it's on the, uh, it isn't, but it, he is an E20, so that is a 7. 7 on an E20 is still going to be a ground ball. So he goes out 6-3, and no runs for us in the fourth inning. We go to the top of the fifth. Top of the fifth, 2-1. to one. Wheeler back out to the mound. And... Haven Smith, the, the ninth batter in their lineup and the DH today, gets a 3-5, which is a strikeout. He struck out. He's 0 for 2. He struck out twice. Which brings up Nick Ahmed. And he gets a 4-11 batting right. That is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. And that brings up Christian Walker with two down and nobody on. 
and he gets a 1-6, which is going to be a double. So Christian Walker is aboard. He's up at second base. Fifth hit allowed by Wheeler. And Calhoun is the batter, and he gets a 5-9 batting left. That is a ground ball second base. So he goes out 4-3. And the Diamondbacks, despite getting a man into scoring position, do not actually score him. And Merrill Kelly goes back out. He's still out there. We're in a tight battle here, 2-1. to one. And up steps, um, for us, Goslin. Phil Goslin is up. He gets a 1-6. That's going to be a strikeout. Kelly striking out his fifth guy right there. One down, nobody on. Nap walked last time. He gets a 4-6 this time. And that's going to be a strikeout. So, I mean, Kelly is striking people out left and right, but he is on the losing end of this game at the moment with Alec Baum up. And he gets a 6-11 batting right. That is going to be a an out. That is going to be a fly ball to right field. And no runs come across for us in the fifth. We're going to the top of the sixth with David Peralta facing the main man, Wheeler, who is pitching great so far. He gets a 1-6, though, Peralta does, and that is going to be a single. Peralta with a hit. Wheeler giving up his sixth hit. He's given up a lot of hits. Kelly's only given up two, but one of them was a two-run home run. And um, Cattell Marte is the batter. They're just going to let him bat. They're not going to do anything tricky here because Cattell Marte is a pretty good hitter. He gets a 1-6, though, and hits into a double play to second base. So that's going to be a 4-6-3 double play. And Tim McCostro is the batter. Nobody on now with two down. And that is a 5-7 batting right. And that is going to be a single. So LeCastro has been kind of a little, little bit of a thorn in the side here. He's two for three. But the Diamondbacks still haven't been able to convert too much here. He, the, he gets a 2-2, Carson Kelly does, and that's a fly to center. And no runs come in. And we go to the bottom of the sixth, and we will send, uh, they'll send uh, Merrill Kelly back out there. I mean, he's pitching great. He's pitching great. He just allowed a two-run home run, and that's, uh, that's the decider right now with Reese Hoskins, the batter. And he gets a 6-7 batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. He's over 2 with two strikeouts. And that's the seventh strikeout of the game for Kelly. Like I said, he's been pitching great. Roman Quinn comes up, he gets a 1-6, that's a strikeout. It, it really, it would be, I mean, I know that I'm running the Phillies here, but it really would be a shame to see Kelly lose this game. And uh, one, two, four, uh, Adam Hazley is going to be a fly to center. So we get no runs in the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh. And uh, Zach Wheeler is going to go out to the mound. And Escobar is the batter. I mean, the Diamondbacks really haven't been able to get much going here against um, Wheeler. That is a 4-10 he would be batting left, and that's a ground ball to the short. Stop. He is a 2. 16-2 and two is going to not be an error. It's going to be on the air check. It's going to be a fielding rating, and it's an out. It's going to be a range rating, and it's an out. So he goes 6-3 with Paven Smith up. And Paven Smith gets a 3-10, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. And you can see why the Diamondbacks were are as bad as 
I mean, not as bad as us, but bad. And back to the top of the lineup with Nick Ahmed. And he gets a 3-6, which is going to be a single. Nick Ahmed's been a little bit of a, a pain, too. He's two for four. And Christian Walker is the batter. And he gets a 3-9, which is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. One to three. They don't get anything. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And again, I got to say it. Kelly's back out there. Gregorius is the batter. He gets a 3-6. That's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. I know you're all sitting at home saying, you know what? The Phillies are going to end up losing this game. And that's because I just happen to think of that myself. McCutcheon, 5-11, batting right. And that's going to be a fly to left. Their left fielder is a 3-E-2. That is a 20. Probably going to be an out. And it is. F7, and Jay Bruce is the batter, our home run leader. And he gets a 4-5 batting left, and that is going to be a fly to left. No runs come in. We go to the top of the eighth. I mean, I'm going to keep both of these guys out here because they're both pitching great. Cole Calhoun. It's a 6-6 six, six batting left, and that is going to be a single, I would assume, and it is. Hit allowed by Wheeler, and we're going to get, um, let's see, who are we going to get up? We are going to, where is he? We're going to get uh, Connor Brogdon up in the bullpen. And David Peralta is the batter. Again, David Peralta, good hitter. They don't want to try anything tricky here. 6-5. And 6-5 is going to be a double. And we could send the runner on this. Let's see. Cole Calhoun. He's a running one to 12. They're going to hold him. <clears throat> and Wheeler gives up the hit. Um, but we're going to keep the infield in and pitch to LaCastro. LaCastro getting a 2 9. That is a fly ball right field B, and it scores the runner from third. So there's one out. But they tie the game. We might have extras here. We might have free baseball for you. Carson Kelly's up. He gets a 3-3, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. And that brings to the plate Escobar. He gets a 6-7 batting left. That is a strikeout. And they did get the tying run. So We've got a 2-2 game, and uh, they're going to take Merrill Kelly out. So Merrill Kelly stops after seven. And they're going to bring in Stefan Crichton.
and he will face Phil Goslin. And that's going to be a 4-8 batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Andrew Knapp is the batter. 4-8, and he's batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. Crichton with his first K. And Baum is the batter, and he gets a 5-8, and that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for them is a 2-E-4, and that is a 4, and that's going to be a ground ball out. So, no runs come in, and we go to the top of the ninth in a 2-2 game. And we are going to bring in, uh, we're going to go ahead and bring in um, Connor Brogdon. So Wheeler went eight. He went eight good innings. He allowed nine hits, but only two earned runs. And they are going to have Escobar at the, at the plate. He gets a 1-7. That is going to be a ground ball shortstop. So he's out 6-3. Taven Smith is the batter with one down. 4-7. Batting left. That's going to be a fly to left. And that brings up Nick Ahmed. Nick Ahmed gets a 5-3, batting right, ground ball to the pitcher. He is a 3-E-0. That is a 7. And uh, that's going to be on the uh, air rating, and it's an E-0, so he's out. And that brings us to the bottom of the ninth. Bottom of the ninth right here. If we can score one run off of Crichton... Right here, we win the game. Alec Baum is the batter. No, Hoskins is. Hoskins is the batter. He gets a 4-10 batting right, and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He has a 1-E-20. That is a 2. Probably an out. And it is. So he goes out 6-3. Back to the top of the order, and the amazing Quinn. 5-8, batting left. That is going to be a second base X. Second baseman is a 2-E-4. And that is an 11. So it's an E-4. Six. And six is going to be a ground ball A, so it's four to three. Which brings up Hazley. Hazley with two down and nobody on. We'd live a home run right here. Six ten batting left, and that is going to be a fly to center. Center fielder is a three E nine. That is a nineteen. And that is probably an out, and it is. And so we're going to free baseball here. And we're going to have to make another change later, but we're going to keep uh, we're going to keep Brogdon out there for right now in the top of the tenth. And now we're off the uh, scale here. So this is the top of the tenth with. Um, with Walker up. He gets a 6-8 batting right, and that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. Our second baseman is a 4-E-11. That is a 13, so let's see what that gets us. That's going to get us an out. It's a ground ball C, 4-3. Sure is. 
Oh, and we do have a man at second, and that in the uh, person of Ahmed. I forgot. Kel Calhoun gets a 2 7, which is a walk. So now they've got two guys on with one out. Brogdon, that's the first guy he's even allowed on base. Peralta gets a 112, and that's going to be a ground ball second base A, and that's a double play. So they don't get any runs there. And we go to the bottom of the uh, bottom of the 10th, and we have... Gregorius up and we have uh, Hazley on second and they are going to make a change also they're making a pitching change They're going to bring in Riley Smith. So Riley Smith is going to come in with a man at second, nobody out, Gregorius up, <clears throat> Hazley up at second. Hazley is, well, Gregorius is a bunting D. It would have been better if Hazley had been at the plate. He's a bunting A. Um, so we're just going to let Gregorius hit. And he gets a 5-8 batting left, and that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. Their second baseman is a 2-E-4. That is a 9. So he's an E-4. That is an 8. And an 8 will be a ground ball second base A, so nobody goes anywhere. One down, man at second, and McCutcheon up. Six, eight, batting right, and that is going to be a fly ball to right field. Which brings up Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce with the six, seven, batting left, and that is going to be a strikeout. And uh, that was Riley Smith. And we were we are in the uh, tenth, so um, yeah. So they're going to have a man on second themselves, and we're going to take Brogdon out of the game. And we are going to put in Tommy Hunter. Tommy Hunter will face Cattell Marte here in the 11th. And that is a 411 batting left, and that is going to be a an out. It's going to be a uh, line out to right field. LaCastro is the batter. He gets a 110. That is going to be a line out to left field. Wait a minute. No, a line out to first base. Oh no, I lost the 20 sider. Dang it. And Carson Kelly is up. Let's hope we don't need it. He gets a single. So. They can try to send this runner, 
who is Peralta. Peralta's a running one to 13. He would increase to a 15 and the um, arm in left field for us is a zero. So they are going to send him and I do have to go to try to find that 20 sire. I usually have a backup ready to go, but I didn't this particular time. Oh, here it is. All right. And he does make it easy. All right. So they score a run. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, the first two guys got out. And that was Peralta. And so, yeah, he scores. And that brings up Escobar. And he gets a 211, which is going to be a home run. So now it's really kind of academic. And Peyton Smith is the batter, and he gets a 6'11 batting left, and that's going to be a fly to right. Right fielder is a 3E6. That is an 8, I believe. Yep. That's going to be on the E6. That is an 8, and that will be a fly ball B. And I think that's going to be it. But they got three runs there. And so now they have opened up a pretty big 5-2 to two lead. And they will stick with their, their man who was out there, Riley Smith. And we're going to send Phil Goslin up because we got no better real options. And he gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. That brings up Andrew Knapp. He gets a 5-4 batting left. And that's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. Their third baseman is a 3-E28. That's a 12. And that's going to be on the E28. That is a 7. And that is going to be a one base error by the third baseman. So we're now, oh wait, and we also had a guy at second that moves over to third, and that is Bruce. So E5. Knapp gets on by an E5. Bruce moves over to third. Baum is the batter. Baum gets a 211, which is going to be a ground ball into a double play at third base. And so we end up managing to lose that game. And we lose the game by the final score of 5 to 2. The Phillies' sad 2020 season continues on. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.